The partnership agreement was signed by President Hagi Gengob and the President of the European Union Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, at the Namibian Pavilion. The agreement further establishes sustainable raw materials value chains, renewable hydrogen, as well as to secure a sustainable supply of raw materials, especially the critical ones. Consistent with the global agenda of reducing carbon emissions, the Namibia-EU partnership agreement lists raw materials such as lithium, cobalt, and natural graphite for batteries or rare earth elements for permanent magnets for wind turbines and electric vehicles as enabling factors to decarbonize energy production. President Gengob described the agreement as a new beginning. So, President, thank you very much. This is the beginning of a long journey. Prime Minister, my friend, thank you very much. It's a beginning of a long walk. I said I have been going to the UN, addressing meetings there, saying statements there. Then you go back home. Your child or friends, why did you bring back? Why did you gain by traveling all the way to New York and coming back? This time, my colleagues from opposition are here too. I must introduce for your sake our parliamentarians. You just get up. They are both from the governing and the minority parties. They are on top. I'm, thank you very much. I'm going to go back and say I was supposed to speak now in the assembly to make the country statement. But I thought this is more important than the statement that I'll make there. I'll be taking something back home. What? We signed agreement of cooperation, which is really aiming towards our green hydrogen and so on. That's a new beginning in Namibia. That's why I thought I'll be here and I would like to thank the President. I would like to thank the Prime Minister. We come to our little land of the brave. Namibians are brave people. They brought Europe here in this poor house. Thank you very much. Europe's ambition for delivering on green and clean energy objectives as set out in EU Green Deal includes access to resources as a strategic security endeavor. The EU is planning to import 10 million tons of renewable hydrogen by 2030. The partnership with Namibia, the EU says, is thus a decisive act that would spark global debates for mutually beneficial ways to develop industries and fight climate change. It is a very special partnership that we are starting now because we are in a decisive moment. We are in a moment of deep crisis worldwide for energy. And now is the time where we have to really decide whether we want to be locked in in fossil fuels or whether we're going to leap forward into clean energy, this is not only wind, this is not only solar, but it is also green hydrogen. And here, this is the big opportunity of Namibia, of the Global South, because you have the resources in abundance. And if we partner, if we team up, if we find the right team together with the European Investment Bank to develop, to invest in the infrastructure, this is a big win-win situation for all of us. Namibia is expecting an increase in job creation with value chains for resources being developed locally under the partnership. Earlier this year, the European Union unveiled 150 billion euros for investments in infrastructure across Africa and member states also investing in critical priority areas. Blanche Corres is NBC News. Sharam El Sheikh, Egypt.